All right, guys, GoToBoy32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting on the review table, and in front of you are a couple of my carry guns. And as of late, I've switched up from this guy right here, the Smith & Wesson M&P Shield. Now, I will tell you this. This is probably one of my absolute go-to favorite handguns for carry. One, because the slim fit, the size of it. Now, there's a couple of other handguns that are out there that are very similar in size, but this one I just I happen to love. Just one. Uh, the M&P series, the, the fit in your hand is one of the best out there in my opinion. If you think there's a better one, please don't hesitate. Leave it in the comment section down below. But I will tell you this, I love this guy. Uh, operationally, it works well. You've got the serrations in the back. Now, this is not a 2.0 or anything else like this. I don't even know what model this is or how old it is. Bought this from my boys down there at Point Blank Range in Matthews. Daniel Richardson, who we'll be hanging out with over at SHOT Show this week. In any case, uh, I like this pistol. I like it a lot. I like the standard factory trigger on it. It's it's one of those ones that's just nice for a carry gun. It suits me just fine. A lot of folks like to put the aftermarket triggers, the Apex or whatever, but I'm a firm believer that, well, uh, you should be just fine with a stock trigger. All right, so real quickly, let's go ahead and just measure the, the trigger here uh, because a stock trigger, I think, is just fine. This is not a competition gun, and it pulls at 5 pound 12 ounces. Not bad. I mean, I'm not sitting here. What I'm trying to do is pop, 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 pop as many as I can just in the defensive posture. Okay, capacity. Well, you got one round right here. That's so funny. These things just don't like to feed out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. I have eight of these beautiful 150 grain HSTs. Look at those things, except for this guy right here. That is a uh, Winchester. I don't know why it's in there, but anyway. Uh, so, eight round capacity is seven plus one. Oh, no, nine. So, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine rounds. HSTs. So, what are the advantages? You can carry some badass rounds with this guy. I don't know the argument anymore that's saying that nine millimeter is any less of a round than, say, 40 cal, uh, unless you're shooting USPSA. But, um, recoil. It's not that bad. Recently, I was down at the guys at Point Blank Range, and they had one of these things right here. This is a Smith & Wesson Shield in 45 ACP. Now, one of the things I do like about this pistol here over the Shield in 9mm is that it's just a little bit bigger, which means that it fits my hand a little better than this guy right here. Now, uh, it does have the same trigger, as a matter of fact. Let's go put that ammo over here. Let's see. 5.12. That one's 4 pounds, 2 ounces. So, this one's actually got a little bit of a less of a trigger pull. I wonder if somebody's done some work to that. I did pick this up used. Paid $249 for the thing. Not bad. And that's one of the reasons why I did. The stippling on this guy is there's a little bit rougher stippling on it as well than the uh, regular old M&P. Size-wise, they're very close to being identical. There's a little bit more length on the 45, a little bit taller in height on the 45, but that's it. But what do you get with this that you don't with this? You get that. And if you know how to hit something, well, I'd rather have that than that. And here's the reason why. Watch this. I get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight rounds of 45 in a package that is almost the same size as the Smith & Wesson 9mm shield. Anyway, that's why uh, my new favorite handgun for carry purposes is this guy right here. Now, I got something I want to ask you folks about because uh, this scallop 
here, if y'all can see that, and that's one of the reasons why I want to show this to you, is that something that I need to be concerned about. Whenever I'm drawing the slide back, sometimes you can feel that. Now, I'm not sure is that in here or not. I haven't really had an opportunity to take a look at it. Oops. But it's not on the 9mm. So anyway, there's the big differences on the inside. Good. Okay. Y'all shouldn't look at that. I, I do not set the example for cleanliness. But uh, that those little ridges, those tool marks, is that normal? Or should I send this thing back to Smith & Wesson? That's my question. Anyway, you got nine of these or eight of these? Let me know what your thoughts are. All right, that being said, I hope you liked the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform to support our Second Amendment and our Constitution as our founding fathers meant it to be. 24-7 for our freedom. Because freedom now comes in some badass 45s. Check those out. Let's go to War 32. I'm out.